We're going to have a go at going up through this corner. It looks quite exciting. Not quite uh, been this way before. Looks like there's some good gear up there. And, and I, I think about this as a bit of a puzzle, really, in terms of it's a puzzle I've got to solve. The, the solution is there of it, but it's finding those bits. And it's not always dead obvious. So we'll go and have a little look. It's fairly easy up into the corner. And we'll, we'll just keep an eye out for gear. The problem with corners and these roofs and things is you can get sucked into them. If I get sucked into this, I, there's no way I'm gonna sort of hang out there. So it's, I can get up here and try and get gear in. And there's some brilliant hooks around the back of some of these blocks. I mean, it is, it's really bomber coming into here. But the key is to try and not have your feet too much into the corner. So try and, try and leave your feet as back and out as you can, I guess. Any gear up there, Rich? Uh, yeah, so there's a few bits of gear, so I'm going to put a sling. Okay. Um, I'm going to get a sling on here. Is that a thread you've got there? Yeah. Okay, so I can see a thread here, which, which I'm going to put in, and that'll allow me to sort of make some more moves to try and get some gear up there. And I'm starting to work out the, the solution, or the possible solution here, because I've got a good foot ledge here. So if I can actually get thread, gear, step back in and then bridge up and get a foot onto there and hook around the corner I might be um, I might be in a, a comfy place because I'll have gear even though I'm making some awkward moves okay so there's a thread sometimes what I'll do is I'll leave the carabiner on the end of the sling um, I can't quite reach into there but I can just use my axes and the, if I put the carabiner over there like that then at least maybe that will drop it into the hole. There she is, and I can bring that round. Now because it's captive, what I want to do is I want to think about if I'm going to go head out that way, unfortunately I'm going to have to put a decent runner on this, otherwise I'll just get a load of drag around that roof. So what I'll probably do, and it's a bit six and two threes here, if I put a massive runner on, I might as well almost not bother. But so I do want to, some sort of safety. So I'm going to put a, a wee four foot runner on it. And that's great. Now we'll go with the greeny rope. So I'm going to take the green and I'll go with the green rope again. So my next plan is to get something up in that corner and then try and come out onto these foot ledges. So I've got a little foot ledge there that I can sort of, and I'm, and I'm looking for these small things. The crampons will work really well on them. And as long as I can get some placements and hook around that corner, I should be able to go from here to there and hook around the corner to escape. It's the plan. It doesn't always work, but it's the plan. First point of thing though, let's get some gear up in that corner. So I'm feeling around for hooks and there's a lot of jammed block. And I need to try and get my feet. So that's the, th that's the, and that's a good hook in there. So that, that's a good foot placement there. We're happy with that. And I'm really happy with some of these, some of these hooks are just bomber, just sweet as. So what I want now is a really good bit of gear in here. So I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna have a little look. I'm not gonna, not gonna rush this too quickly. It'd be even better if I could get right up under this roof. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a bit of a, a move where I, I flip my, foot upside down just to get and there you go I'm in I'm good right let's see if we can get something there's possibly a wire but I'm just just need to clean this corner out well maybe it's very it's sort of flaring back out the wrong way really so Actually, I'm just gonna, I might be able to persuade something to go in that top corner there. Where, this is the puzzle that you've got to try and solve. H, did you use that hex up? Yeah, I used the hex, yeah. Okay. It's a shame, I could have done with that. 
I'm just looking for a fairly large wire. Um, let's try that puppy. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think I've quite got a big enough size. So these hooks in here give me a chance to come across and faff around. You know, I might just... So I might just go with that because it's in a great place, but it's not the best thing in the world. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to get a runner on it now, and I'm also going to put the wee thread on a long runner in the corner. But this one can go on a shorter runner. So it just sort of looks, it looks after me as I try and pop round the corner here. So again, it's maybe just about long enough. I'm being a little bit, not quite long enough, blue. but we're going to go with blue on this. And now I'm going to put this thread in and then I should, I'll step down, have a look at the moves and I'll, I'll get on with it. This is one of the great advantages of climbing leashless when you're faffing around like this, just trying to make some steps, is that you... <coughs> It does free you up to really sort of move your hands around plenty. So that's good, you know, we've got a lot of good gear in here and, I'm, and that puts you in a nice relaxed frame of mind to try and make some awkward moves. I need to put a longer runner on this. Again, we'd get loads of rope drag if we didn't. So we've got to try and get this so that, so that the rope will come a little bit more out the side there. So I've just extended this so that we can try and bring the rope as, around here as possible. I'm not going to, again, I'm, the, the classic textbook thing would be, you know, extend it all the way so it doesn't even run on the rock. But I'm a realist here. I'm going to make the moves around this corner now. So I don't want it to be, you know, there'll be enough extension there so that the... Um, so that the friction isn't too bad, but at least it gives me a little bit of protection as I make these moves. Okay, so you've usually faffed around for a bit, now you need to just step down, have a little think about the moves, and yeah, it's all getting a bit tight in here. So I'm thinking if I can get a hook somewhere in here, I can step right out, just leaning out on this hook. They're a little bit tenuous in, in here, you would look at this corner and think there's got to be a really good... And I want it sideways so I can really lean on it. Not magic, but I'm just going to have a little fish around. And that feels good. So I can just change feet. Come in here. And then... Think about trying to put a feet on this back wall. So if there's anything there and there is a tiny thing, then that might work. Just to get my, help bring my feet up and around the corner. And again, I would like, normally like to clean this out with an ax to get a feel as if there's anything there. Have a little peek around, bring the other ax around. That's nice, that's good. A good hook is the rich. Pardon? Good hook up there. Yeah. yeah, and I've got a good good pull over there. So this is this is the key thing now. I'm I'm great. I'm I'm in a happy place. The gear's good. I'm not so sure about this right foot, but sometimes we've just got to take a little bit of risk. Bring that up there and try and keep really balanced on your feet as you come through. I want something high up there. That's good. I like that. I've got another foothold there. And sweet, we're around the corner. Magic. Hey, well done, Rich.